What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the upcoming UFC video game that's coming out from EA Sports and actually we're going to be talking about something that I'm kind of disappointed in. Now as you can see on the screen I was excited because I thought that there was a decent possibility that there might be an ultimate team aspect to the UFC video game that's coming out. Now, I know, everybody's thinking, how would you do Ultimate Team for UFC? I mean, it's a head-to-head, one-on-one, there's not really a team aspect to MMA. And you're right, to some extent. However, I've been thinking about this, and I'm pretty sure that we could make one of the coolest Ultimate Teams out of the UFC. So, allow me to explain, because... I know it's kind of complicated, but I did want to go into detail about this so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what I was thinking. And like I said, why I'm a little bit disappointed that there is no Ultimate Team. And the reason that I know that there's no Ultimate Team, by the way, is because if you actually go and look at iPod King Carter, uh, he's a pretty big YouTuber in the sports community. And uh, he actually got to play the game early and he posted a whole bunch of different screenshots from the game from the menu screens. And there was absolutely no mention of Ultimate Team or anything that even moderately resembled Ultimate Team. He mentioned nothing about Ultimate Team. I mean, it's not there, guys. It's just not going to happen. So, with that being said, I want to tell you guys what I would do if I was EA. And why I believe that you can do Ultimate Team for the UFC and why I think it would be really freaking awesome, actually. So, if you think about what EA does for other sports where they have Ultimate Team... Um, there's obviously Madden, which is what I like to play. There's FIFA Ultimate Team, which is really the biggest of them all. Um, there's also hockey, and then I think there was also NCAA Football Ultimate Team. There might be another one that I'm not thinking of. But for the UFC, I think it's pretty simple. I would call it Ultimate Fight Team. So you have M-U-T, F-U-T, H-U-T, and then you would have U-F-T, Ultimate Fight Team. So that would be the name of it. And basically, my thought process behind this is that you would assemble a team that would include one fighter from each weight class. Now, you can assemble, of course, a core roster that has more than just those players. However, the general concept would be that your team, your starting lineup, essentially, is one fighter from each weight class. So what would happen in the beginning is that you would be given a quote-unquote starter pack, just like you are in Madden, and each starter pack would contain one 80 overall quote-unquote team captain silver card and uh, this would be like a a pretty good fighter so it might be like a uh a georgia st pierre or an anderson silver or a vitor belfort or you know john jones or something like that but it would be an 80 overall card so similar to like they do in mutt where you get the 80 overall patrick willis or whatever and then you would also get a player or a fighter at each weight class in addition to your team captain so, you know, and, and each of those is likely going to be a bronze card. So it's not going to be a very good card. Just the same way that you do when you start off your ultimate team in Madden, where you kind of start off with a garbage team and then you use that to do solo challenges or whatever and uh, play against people in head-to-head -head games. And you grow your, your coins from there where you can purchase packs or you can purchase cards or, you know, whatever from there. But essentially, the idea is that you would have a fight team. And like I said, it would be one fighter from each weight class, including the women's bantamweight division. So you would be able to kind of assemble your team how you want to, pick the cards that you like. You might be stronger in one weight class than you are in another weight class, just like you are in Madden or FIFA or whatever other sport that you play. But what would end up happening is that you could go through and do solo challenges where, for example, you might play against the winners from the previous UFC event or something like that. So uh, let's say that uh, Michael Bisping won his last fight, even though he didn't. But let's say Michael Bisping won his last fight. Well, you might fight against him in a solo challenge. And if you win, then you get X amount of coins or whatever. So that would be one way of accumulating coins in the game, is just simply through solo challenges where you fight the computer one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the weight class is based on the opponent that you're going to be going up against. So if you're fighting um, Tim Kennedy, then guess what? You're fighting in the middleweight division, right? So that's essentially the, the basic way that you would go about doing solo challenges. Now, 
The other portion of things would be what I call head-to-head -head series. And these would be best of three. Now, each person who is competing in this contest would get to choose one fighter from one weight class that they want to have a fight in. So you would be able to see the other person's roster, of course, and uh, you'd be able to go in and say, okay, so I've got a, let's say, a Cain Velasquez card. And for those of you who don't know, Cain Velasquez is a really good fighter. He's the heavyweight champion of the UFC. And then from there, you look at your opponent's roster and you see that his heavyweight kind of sucks. He's only like a, an 80 overall or something like that. He's, or a 75 overall or whatever. So he's weak in that area. You're really strong in that area. Well, that would probably be a good division for you to fight that one fight in. So you get to choose a fight at one weight class. Your opponent gets to choose a fight at a, at a weight class. Most likely it's going to be at a weight class that you have an advantage at. And uh, you're going to do a head-to-head -head fight with your fighter at that weight class versus their fighter at the same weight class. So two of those. And uh, if somebody wins both of those fights, then they're the declared the winner of the head-to-head -head series. But if you guys split them, as is probably going to happen quite a few times if you look at the other person's roster and you pick out a weak spot for them, what ends up happening then is that the third fight is fought in a championship round type of format. So instead of being three five-minute rounds like a normal UFC fight, it's actually going to be five five-minute rounds like a championship fight. And what will happen is that rather than having you guys choose the weight class that it's going to be competed at, the computer will automatically decide a weight class randomly. So that's kind of why you want to have a pretty well-rounded roster if you can and don't be super weak in one area because the computer might choose that area and then you're screwed. So that's the essential concept. Head-to-head -head series would be three fights, two fights that are regular fights, and then the third fight, championship rounds, a fourth and a fifth round if necessary. So that's kind of the, uh, the fun, I think, of being able to do a full fight team because you really do need to have more than just one fighter. And unlike online where you just pick one fighter or you pick your created fighter and you always pretty much pick the same guy, this would give you the opportunity to play with a bunch of different fighters at different weight classes, different speeds of the game, different uh, opponents because you never know who your opponent's going to have as a fighter as well. That's one of the things that I think is a major downfall currently on the UFC online games um, and the EA MMA game that came out as well is that everybody always picks the same guys because there's certain guys that are just ridiculously overpowered. Whereas an ultimate team, it's kind of going to be more mixed up. People are going to generally have different people at different weight classes, and it's just going to be more fun. You're going to be able to fight against more people, and you're going to be able to utilize more people yourself. So I think that would be a really fun thing. Now, I do also want to go into just a little bit more detail about the different fight card categories. So let's say currently, if you look at Madden, for example, there are plenty of different players that have multiple different cards in the game and they might have a gold card they might have an elite card they might have a playoff card um you know a bronze card whatever they they have a bunch of different cards in different categories i want to do something similar to that with the ufc as well but we can also make it maybe based on certain points in their career so for example you might have a a George St. Pierre card that is like his rookie card essentially when he first came to the UFC and that one might be a silver or a bronze card whereas there might also be a gold card of GSP that's quite a bit better and then maybe even a championship level card that can only be unlocked by people who are current or former champions in the UFC and this would be kind of similar to like the elite tier for example. And then of course there would also be legendary cards for fighters who have retired and moved on, guys like uh, Ken Shamrock or a, uh, a Tank Abbott or a Hoist Gracie or probably like a Bruce Lee would be included in this and be super, super rare and probably worth of course a ton of coins as well. So this one I think increased the total number of fighters which of course is a major concern because in Madden you know there's 53 players per roster times 30 uh, 32 teams so you know there's a, an endless amount of cards that they can make in addition to the legendary cards whereas in the UFC we don't have anywhere near that big of a roster so we need to keep that in mind uh, that would also of course mean that there's going to be multiple different versions like I said of each player or each fighter in different categories so something to think about anyway but that would be kind of fun because I think that you'd be able to uh, you know get used to using GSP for example in your single player mode then come over to ultimate team and although you might not have the best GSP card uh, and you might have kind of buff or you know buffered um, attributes 
it would still be fighting similarly to how you're used to with your your normal GSP on from the single player game. Now, other aspects of the ultimate team that I would include would be things like coaches. So, for example, a coach would potentially apply a major boost to your entire lineup in a certain category. So like, for example, uh, a bronze coach card might give you plus one in a certain category for your entire fight team for a certain head-to-head -head game. Now, that might be something like plus one takedown defense or uh, plus one head punches or, you know, something like that, where you get that entire boost just like you do in Madden for your coaches uh, for your entire roster. Now, there would be... There would be uh, bronze coaches, silver coaches, gold coaches, legend coaches, all those different kinds of things. And as you move up the, the ladder and you get the higher level coaches, of course, they're going to actually be able to give you more boosts in multiple different areas, maybe two, possibly even three categories, and uh, a higher boost in those categories as well. So maybe plus five or more in certain areas. So it would be nice to have great coaches as well, which is a very important aspect to MMA, which is kind of overlooked, I think, by the current UFC structure, it, at least in the video game, that is. So that's kind of it for coaches anyway. And now I wanna move on to another thing that I would like to see implemented if they were to do Ultimate Team, and uh, I call this focus cards. So you can see here on your screen, you see a plus two focus for kick power. And this is a custom card that I created. I've actually, all these cards that you've seen here and that you will see in this whole video, I created myself. Uh, they're not real, of course, and you can probably tell on some of them, but they're just kind of made for fun and something for you guys to look at while I ramble on here. But the focus cards would be things that could be opened up in packs or potentially bought off of the auction block or whatever. And basically what these would do would give you plus attributes just similarly to coaches, but in very specific areas and you can choose them, but you can only use them once. So for example, this silver one is gonna give you plus two to kick power and you can use it for one fight only one fight not for an entire head-to-head -head series but only for one fight so for example if you see here that you're at a disadvantage in uh let's say your opponent picks lightweight and he has somebody that has a uh, really weak chin or something but you know over other than that he's a very very solid fighter well it might be smart for you to it, you know throw this plus two kick power on and try to head kick him and knock him out at some point in the fight to get a flash knockout so Something to think about, it would be something that would uh, add kind of a fun little aspect and uh, you might be able to utilize these cards in uh, moments of need. Um, and you don't always have to use them of course, but it would be things that you could use if you need to. So another thing that we should talk about a little bit I think is what would be kind of contained in packs. So as you can see here, my thoughts as far as pack content would be that these packs are probably going to have to be fairly small. Because like I mentioned before, there just aren't a lot of fighters on the roster of this game. And uh, maybe down the road, they might be adding more fighters. You never know, DLC, things like that. But for right now, there's not a whole lot of fighters. So what I would like to see them do if they were to implement Ultimate Team would be keep the packs to like four or five cards. That way we don't see too many of the same fighters. It's kind of still rare to get really good cards. And for the most part, you're probably still gonna pull bronzes and silvers, uh, but you're gonna need those bronzes and silvers for, uh, you know, when you're first getting started and things like that, and you can sell them and, uh, you know, give them to people if you want to, things like that. Now, there would also be contracts that you would have to pull, and these would be very similar to like Madden. You have to put on a contract to each fighter uh, depending on how often you use them and things like that. You're only going to actually see your contract dwindle down when you use that fighter. So if your three fights in your series happen at lightweight, welterweight, and middleweight, well, your heavyweight and your bantamweight and your featherweight and your women's bantamweight, none of those cards are actually going to lose, and the light heavyweight, of course, um, none of those are actually going to lose any of their contracts. But the people who are utilized in the fights, they will all lose one contract. So that would just kind of be an additional way that they can throw in something else and um, just, you know, basically what it is, is it's a money making scheme for the for EA. But at the end of the day, look, if they make something cool like this, they're probably going to implement something like this. So we might as well just, you know, be realistic and just say, OK, so that would be something that would be in the game. So moving on, the last thing that I kind of want to talk about here is the collectibles. 
And uh, these would be things that could be opened up in packs, of course, just like they currently are in your other, uh, in like your Madden Ultimate Team. And, uh, you know, it could be things like, let's say, cage items. So, for example, here I included UFC gloves. And there might be things like the Octagon, or like a Strike Force ring, or like uh, the mat, or gloves, like it, you see here, or shorts, tape, um, the Harley Davidson prep point, things like that that you could collect, put together into a collection, and uh, unlock other cards, unlock cool things in the game, whether it be stadiums or, you know, whatever. Um, entrances, stuff like that. That would be a lot of fun, I think, to be able to have some collectibles in the game. There's also stuff like ring girls, uh, commentators, staff, stuff like that. You see Joe Rogan here. Um, and then I thought it would be cool to also have a full series of like event posters. So currently you see the UFC 118 one on there, but of course there's been an event poster for every single UFC event that they've ever done. And I think it would be kind of fun to be able to unlock those, uh, put them together into collections. Um, you know, and of course these could be used for, to unlock specific fighters who maybe fought on those events. Uh, so like, let's say you were gonna unlock a Chuck Liddell or something like that. Maybe what you would actually collect is all of the event posters from events that he fought at throughout his career. And I know that's a bunch for Chuck Liddell, but, you know, just as an example anyway, I think that that would be something that would be a lot of fun and it would um, increase the fun of opening cool stuff in packs. And also you'd see things like uh, this Epic Moments collectible, which is in this case the Anderson Silva front kick knockout. And of course, all of these would be tiered differently as well. Uh, the last one being a legend collectible, some goals, uh, championship levels, stuff like that. So various different ways to really make this game fun, I think, with collectibles. So with that being said, guys, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this idea. Do you like the idea of a UFC Ultimate Team after you've heard me talk about it? Do you like the idea of having a three-fight series? Are you like me, where when you play a head-to-head -head game, and uh, or a head-to-head -head fight in this case, and you fight somebody and you kick the crap out of them for the entire fight, you're taking them down, you're beasting them, uh, just destroying them at will, and then he, for some reason you get stood up and the guy lands one punch and knocks you out. Do you rage like me? <laughs> because I think that a three fight series would definitely alleviate some of that stress because if you do get a flash knockout and you lose in some BS way, well, guess what? You've still got two other fights that you can win to still end up saving yourself and winning the series. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like this idea? Please leave it in the comment section. If you like today's video, please press that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this has been a long video, but I really do appreciate you watching. I really am looking forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you guys, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.